Welcome to our channel. Today we bring you the list of the top 10 most dangerous airports in the world. While flying is one of the safest ways to travel, many passengers, including myself, suffer from a fear of flying. This fear of flight is known as aviophobia, or aerophobia. That said, some approaches to airports are much more complicated than others, and can turn into a frightening experience even to the bravest of frequent flyers. Surprisingly, there are dangerous airports globally, ranging from mountain ranges and oceans to less than half a mile of runways. Landings and takeoffs require incredible precision and immense pilot skills. Today, we're going to see the 10 most dangerous airports in the world. These airports are hazardous due to tricky runways and special landing techniques. The top 10 most dangerous airports in the world are. Before we continue, press the subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. Number 10. Wellington International Airport, New Zealand. If you love to stare at the clear and never-ending waters of the sea from the airplane's sky-piercing heights, the Wellington International Airport runway makes it possible for you to do just that. The start and end of this runway are straight into the sea from the beginning of the descent. Wellington International Airport, which serves as the capital of New Zealand, is the country's third busiest airport, after Auckland and Christchurch. It features a single runway of 2,081 meters, or 6,827 feet which seems to start at the end of the ocean. Because of the Cook's straight channeling effect, the airport has a reputation for often rough and turbulent landings, even in larger aircraft. Producing healthy and raging winds, especially in northwestern conditions, and thereby making landing maneuvering particularly challenging for pilots and can often transform flying into a hair-raising activity for passengers. Number nine. Gibraltar International Airport, British Overseas Territory. As kids, we all glanced into the car window through a car door to look at an airplane soaring through the air. You can't just watch it go by in Gibraltar without fear whether the aircraft will fly into you. The start of the runway intersects with a functioning road that requires stopping during the flight. In addition to that terrifying phenomenon, at both ends of the runway, the runway abruptly ends at sea. The Gibraltar Airport runway also crosses the main road and out of the British Overseas Territory, and as a result, traffic must be closed if an aircraft lands or departs. The resulting traffic jams have resulted in construction of a tunnel under the runway, but the project is left hanging, and the completion is still under process. However, the highway crossing is not the pilot's main problem. It's the heavy turbulence and wind shear around the Rock of Gibraltar and across the Bay of Algeciras that makes landings a problematic and incredibly uncomfortable affair. It's normal to have diversions and go-arounds, particularly in winter. At number eight is Princess Juliana Airport at St. Martin. Due to one end of its single 7,546-foot long runway being too close to the sea, the infamous Princess Juliana Airport in the Caribbean island of St. Martin is famous worldwide for its landings over the ocean. Maho Beach has become one of the most famous spots in the world for a perfect Instagram picture because of its proximity to the runway, with landing jets appearing just feet above the public's heads just before touchdown. At the same time, takeoff produces enormous gusts for sunbathers of wind and sand. However, it's not without danger. A New Zealand woman died in 2017 from wounds suffered by a jet blast from a departing aircraft. At number seven, we have Nasarsuk Airport in Greenland. In the Tunaliarfik Fjord, on the world's southern tip, Nasarsuk Airport is one of only two airports in Greenland capable of servicing large aircraft. The airport was established by the Ministry of Defense of the USA in 1941. In a mountainous environment, pilots must contend with high winds, extreme turbulence, and wind shear, even on the calmest of days, before seeing the relatively short 6,000-foot runway. Although a big challenge for pilots in the high wind of the fjords, a nearby volcano can be even more difficult. When it erupts, there are very tiny fragments of glass, silica melting ice, in the volcanic ash cloud that can destroy aircraft engines. Number six is Tunkantan Airport, Honduras. For a long time, the Tunkantan Airport approach, located near the capital of Honduras, has been considered one of the most dangerous airports globally especially in poor weather conditions. The small airport's rugged terrain forces pilots to make a dramatic approach with a steep ascent and a fast turn before lining up with the runway, which is anything but head-on. 
Often it's one of the deadliest airports in the world. A Boeing commercial aircraft crashed into a mountainside on approach in 1989, killing 132 individuals. Since then, at least five more aircraft have followed suit and have crashed in or near the airport. Due to this mishap, a new airport is currently being constructed in Komayaga to replace Tenkantan International Airport. Number 5 is Madeira International Airport in Portugal. Madeira International Airport, commonly known as Cristiano Ronaldo Airport and formerly known as Fruncal Airport, is located on the Portuguese archipelago of Madeira in the Atlantic Ocean. Due to its impressive architecture, Madeira International Airport is considered one of the world's most dangerous airports. The initial runway is just 1,600 meters and was to be 5,249 feet long, but was later expanded to 2,781 meters, which after a fatal plane crash in 1977 was around 9,124 feet. 164 people died when a Boeing 727 fell off the end of the runway into the beach below. The runway extension is supported by 180 columns partially over the ocean that must withstand extreme shock loads during landings. Owning to powerful winds, high mountains on one side, and the sea on the other, the airport is risky as well. To land at the airport, pilots must undergo additional training. Number 4 is Tenzing Hillary Airport, Nepal. Tenzing Hillary Airport, also known as Lukla Airport in Nepal, is the prime airport for anyone visiting Mount Everest. The runway is surrounded by steep Himalayan terrain, with a mountain shelf on one side and a steep drop into the valley below on the other side. The airport runway is incredibly short, measuring only 529 meters, or 1,729 feet. But it slopes uphill with a gradient of nearly 12%, allowing planes to slow down in time. And there is also no go-around procedure in place because of the surrounding mountains. Only helicopters and small fixed-wing propeller planes are allowed to land because of these factors. Since 1973, there have been several accidents at the airport that resulted in many deaths and injuries. Number 3 is Lukla Airport in Nepal. The recent traffic on Mount Everest has brought a little infamy to tourism in the Himalayas. However, that hasn't stopped people from the tour of Everest. Lukla Airport could be the one you need to encounter if you ever plan to fly to Everest, and you'd better be ready for it. Even if the weather conditions are safe, it's quite a risk to embark on such a journey with a scary short runway of just 527 meters. As the runway has a cliff on one side and a stone wall, the risk factor is high. The frequently interrupted air traffic controller link also causes the pilots to land without assistance. Combine it with no lights, and you've got a perfect scenario for horror. Number 2 is Wanchui Roskin Airport in Saba Island. One of the world's scariest and most dangerous airports is Wancho I Roskin Airport, otherwise known as Saba Airport. Wancho I Roskin Airport is situated in the tiny Dutch Caribbean island of Saba also known as the original movie island of King Kong, approximately 45 kilometers south of St. Martin. It is the world's shortest commercial runway at just 400 meters in length. The airport is wedged at the foot of the mountain on a rugged outcrop, with jagged terrain on one side and cliffs crashing into the sea at the other end. So it's a nerve-wracking struggle to land here. Although the airport is closed to jet traffic, under waivers from the Netherlands Antilles Civil Aviation Authority, regional airline propeller aircraft can land here. Number one is Pero International Airport, Bhutan. Bhutan is the only international airport in Pero. It is nestled in a deep valley. Sharp peaks surround the tiny airport, up to 5,500 meters or 18,000 feet tall. Often resulting in extreme turbulence, powerful winds whip through the valley. This is the most dangerous airport globally. Flights are permitted only during the daytime and under visual meteorological conditions, under which pilots, rather than depending on aircraft instruments, make their decisions by eye. For the pilots, until the last minute, the dramatic approach to the runway is totally out of reach as they navigate between mountains at a 45 degree angle before falling rapidly into the runway. There is a restriction to the number of pilots that are allowed to land at Pero. As things stand, only a limited number of pilots are authorized to land. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below which airport you think is the most dangerous.